Well, bless the Lord, everybody. Bless the Lord, everybody, and welcome. We have come to seek and save that which is lost to destroy the works of the devil come on. and leave a deposit for the next generation. Yes, yes. We are a ministry that loves God, hates sin, and love to give. Amen. We are a ministry that's declaring a standard of righteousness. Yes, sir. The word declare means to make known. Well, Elder, what are you making known? We're making known that the only gospel that you sure Jesus brought and taught was the gospel of the kingdom of God. Amen. For Jesus himself said, for this is why I was sent. Amen. We're changing and transforming followers into leaders and leaders <laughs> into agents, agents of change. change. Well, hello and welcome to today's teaching, which is being presented to you by For Those Who Choose Ministries Incorporated. My name is Elder Aaron Cook, and I am one of the co-founders and lead instructors here at For Those Who Choose. And teaching with me today are my anointed daughter, Miss Anisha Tillman. Hello. And Mrs. Diane Bowyer Bishop, who are both a part of our instructors team. Now today we continue in our new series under the Rediscovering the Kingdom umbrella called Overcoming Crisis as a Citizen of God's Kingdom. Yeah. So let me begin again by providing a definition for the word crisis. Well, the dictionary defines the word crisis as a stage and a sequence of events mm -hmm. at which the trend of all future events, especially for the better or for the worse, yes. is determined. Mm -hmm. A crisis is a turning point. Mm -hmm. A crisis is also defined as a condition of instability yes. or danger, mm. as in social, economic, political, or international affairs leading to a critical change. Yes. Another definition for crisis is a dramatic emotional or circumstantial disruption in a person's life. It's a disruption in a person's life. Yes. See, you may ask the question, why should I concern myself with learning how to overcome a crisis when I have already given my life to Jesus Christ mm. and I am now a citizen of God's kingdom? Mm. I shouldn't have any problems, right? Well, I shouldn't uh, have any problems now, right? Well, let me just say this. <laughs> See, as believers and as citizens of the kingdom, we have problems just like everybody else. I'm just Amen. being real. That's right. But in addition to the problems, we have the problem solver in Yeshua Jesus. Yes, Amen. Sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Well, the reality is no one living on planet Earth is exempt from the crisis, including kingdom citizens, you That's and right. I. Yeah. How do we know this? Well, in the book of John chapter 16, verses 33, the king himself the Lord Jesus Christ says, in this world you will have trouble or tribulations, mm -hmm. or you shall have trouble. Yes. But take heart, or one translation says, be of good cheer, oh, good uh -huh. cheer. because I have overcome the whole world. world. That's oh, right. Yeah. Now, at any time, something is happening somewhere in the world. Things like hurricanes or mm -hmm. tornadoes mm -hmm. or earthquakes or mudslides. Mm -hmm. I seen a mudslide on TV about a month ago, and that's something. Uh -huh. yes, that it is, is something. Yes. Fires or droughts or, or floods or famines. And as we are experiencing today, a worldwide pandemic. Yes. The list goes on and on, so we can truthfully say people are always in some kind of crisis, especially yes. now with this um. COVID-19, and now there's a new strand, another yes. strand out that yeah. they were talking about this week. I don't know the name of it, but it's over in Africa or, somewhere. Or a crown or something or like that. Or a crown, okay. Mm. See, many are perhaps still trying to recover from a broken marriage, the unexpected death of a spouse, a parent, a child, or a close friend, or even a loved one. Mm -hmm. Maybe you lost your dream house, your dream car, your baby, or your business. Whatever your situation, these are all categorized as a crisis. Yeah. Well, see, we all encounter situations over which we have no personal control, which we did not expect or could not prevent. Right. We right. can't prevent some of the things that come Absolutely. on us. Amen. Yeah. Absolutely. The Bible says that the, the troubles rain, the rain comes on the good in the bad, the just, just and the and unjust, unjust. It falls yep. on both. Yes. Amen. Amen. So the question is to you and myself, what do you do when everything you trusted in collapse, mm. collapses? My, 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 my. What do you do when it mm -hmm. collapses? How do you prepare for a sudden change in life? 
how do you recover when life hits you on the blind side? Yeah. yeah. That's like football when somebody you're not looking one way right. and somebody hits you on the blind side. Yeah. Right. I've right. got hit on the on, before when I was younger. I was about seven years old, always trying to be big, playing with a guy named Leroy that was in the martial arts. And so I'm playing with him, and Leroy kicked me and knocked the win out. I was like. <gasps> <laughs> And it's like, I was trying to get air back, and he kept saying, you okay? <laughs> you okay? Mm -hmm. That's almost like getting hit on the blind side. Yeah. I mean, I, that's something that, as you a child, expect. I remember that. Yeah. Right? I didn't expect it. Right. And he knocked the wind out of me. He was wow. like, and I was even saying, breathe, man, breathe, because he must have knew. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. Right? Scared. Well, the purpose of this series is not to frighten you, nor is it to report breaking news, Come nor on. is Come it on. to complain about the miserable state of the world. Right. Instead, the purpose of this series is to give you some practical advice and point you in the direction of the one who has the answers to every type of tragedy or disaster. Amen. See, when even the experts, are you hearing me? Come yes. on. Even when the experts don't know what to do, mm -hmm. it is time to hook up with someone who is smarter than all the experts put Come together. That's Come right. On. See, when you need to overcome a crisis, it is time to look to the overcomer, the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. the anointed Amen. one. Amen. Amen. Because he comes, that word anointed means the burden removing, yoke destroying, power of Almighty God. Amen. And Jesus is the only one that comes with it. We Come can get now. it, yeah. but he Come comes with it. Amen. 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 You teach See, yes, you must sir. understand no, that the kingdom... Like that. <laughs> <laughs> you must understand that the kingdom of God is never, are you hearing me? Oh, never oh. in a crisis. That's right. Now, just let that sink in mm -hmm. and let that get into your spirit. See, the kingdom is never in a crisis mode because the king of the kingdom is bigger than any crisis yes. that has ever happened, yes. will ever happen, yeah. or is even happening right now as yes. we speak. Amen. He knows what to do. He knows exactly how to do what needs to be done. Yes. Are you hearing God? Mm -hmm. And he has the power and the authority on, to do ahead. anything. That's right. Not only does he know what to do, but also he cares for you and me. He cares for us, yes. both individually and corporately. Mm -hmm. He loves people. Yes. Yes. And God yes. has never failed his people yet. Amen. The important thing, that's and that's right. right, and he never will. That's right. But the important thing, because he will never fail his people yet, the important thing to do is to make sure that you are one of his people. That's mm -hmm. right. Amen. Amen. That's Amen. why he tells us to cast all of your cares yes. upon me. Why? Yes. Because I care for you. Mm -hmm. And right. he's the only one that can change our situations because he's a right. creator of all things. He's, uh, one of his names is omniscient or omniscient. Yes. Omni means all. Seeing is where we get the word science from. Yes. That means he's the creator of all things, the maker of yeah. all things, the know of all things. That's he right. knows our thoughts are far off. He knows what we're going to pray before we pray. He knows what's going to happen the next second, the next minute, the next hour, 20, yes. 30, 50 years from now. Come on, he man. already knows because the Bible teaches us that he knows our end from our beginning. He yes, right. Us so that's we why began. we have to trust in him. Right. Go that's ahead. Right. Say it again, Bishop. He finished us before we began. That's Amen. right. And God doesn't start a thing until he, he finishes, finishes it. it. That's, Amen. Right. that's why they say that he began the beginning before the, the beginning, beginning began. began. Come Amen. On, come on now. Woo! Somebody <laughs> come get me. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> now notice. We did not yeah. promise you a crisis-free life. We're not doing that. That's Instead, right. we are promising you a way out or a way to overcome each crisis, whether big or small. Yeah. We are equipping you with knowledge and information to be an overcomer in a crisis situation. So what is your crisis right now? That's a question to you. What is it your crisis right now? Yeah. As you allow him to convert your crisis into an opportunity for growth and grace, you will be able to bring a little more of the kingdom of heaven to this disillusioned, worn out world. Amen. Are you hearing God? Yeah. Now, the primary objective for this series is that you will be increased with knowledge, understanding, and wisdom of how to overcome crisis as a citizen of God's kingdom living life in this earth. Yeah. God says that wisdom is the principal thing. That's right. So our desire is that you will continue learning how to manifest heaven's governmental authority over your earthly situations and circumstances. Mm -hmm. You will know how to give heaven the permission to intervene, influence, and impact 
every area and every aspect of your life, yes. especially during times of crisis. Yes. Our desire is also that you will know how to bring situations and circumstances under the subjection of the knowledge of God, which has been enabled to you and I by the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now, the content of this series has been taken directly from the book called Overcoming Crisis, The Secrets to Thriving in Challenging Times. The bishop is holding the book now. The book was written by our mentor, the late, great Dr. Miles, Miles Monroe. Monroe. Yeah. And we encourage you to also read this book as you follow along in this series to obtain an even greater an even greater knowledge and understanding of how to apply kingdom principles when facing the challenging times of life. Amen. 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 Now we also want to remind you that the kingdom is God's greatest desire and passion for you and I. Mm -hmm. And it's vitally important that we study the kingdom. Amen. Yes. We are God's children. And his desire is that we will rule this earth mm -hmm. and that we will reign in life with the influence of heaven. Come yes. on. God wants his environment of wants the environment of his influence, mm -hmm. which is his government, mm -hmm. and the economy of heaven to come back to earth as he originally intended purpose and plan from the very beginning. Yes. God wants his heavenly kingdom or his heavenly government mm -hmm. to be manifested in the earth through you and I. Amen. Mm -hmm. God's desire is that his kingdom government mm -hmm. be manifested in the hearts and in the minds of we, his children, mm -hmm. to the point that we take on his culture, Come on. his nature, <laughs> his morals, yes. his standards, and his values so that the culture of heaven mm -hmm. is manifested mm -hmm. throughout mm -hmm. the whole earth. Amen. Amen. As we said many, many, many times before, culture is not in the land. Amen. Come on now. But instead, culture is in the people of the land. That's Amen. right. So when you possess the culture of the king of heaven, you will indeed be able to manifest heaven's culture in the earth. Amen. Amen. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be, be done, done on earth. earth just like, like it, it is, is in, in heaven. heaven. Amen. Now, for those of you joining us live today, come on in and join the conversation. Sop with us for an hour. Come mm -hmm. on in. All throughout this live session, we ask that you share your thoughts, your questions, and any concerns with us. Amen. Yes. And at the end of each session, we always have an open forum. Yes. During that time, we will respond to any questions that you may have online. Our desire is that you walk away from these teachings mm -hmm. with the knowledge and understanding that will allow them to apply what you are learning in your everyday life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Remember yes. in the parable of the sower, which is in the book of Matthew chapter 13, Woo! Jesus explained that the seed is the word of the kingdom. The word yes. of the kingdom. The mm. word of the kingdom. Mm. Yeah. And how the evil one is Satan. Mm -hmm. He tells how Satan comes immediately mm -hmm. and steal the word of the kingdom when you don't understand. Mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, mm -hmm. please, please. Don't leave this session today without having a thorough understanding of everything we discuss. Amen. So Amen. please come on in and join, join the, the conversation. conversation. <laughs> Type your questions Amen. and your comments in the comment section. Mm. And we have a team of people who will be able to share them with us. Amen. Also, if you don't mind, hit the like and the share button. Share this message with others mm -hmm. for people who may want to learn more about mm. the kingdom. Mm. It is for, for those, those who choose. choose. Amen. Amen. Now, before we move into our lesson, let's officially open our session in prayer. Let's petition the government of heaven to give the most high king of heaven permission oh, to mission. manifest his presence in and through this teaching today. Amen. Amen. So we the next bishop to lead us in prayer. Amen. 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 And you pray Thank too. You. The Bible say pray without ceasing. Amen. Amen. Father, we come in the name of Jesus, 
And at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, yes. every tongue confess mm -hmm. that yes. Jesus is Lord. Yes. Yes. He is King of Kings mm -hmm. and he is Lord of Lords. Yes. Father, we come continuously in all ways, giving you all the honor, yes. giving you all the glory, yes. giving you all the praise, mm -hmm. giving you the thanksgiving because it is your will for our life concerning Christ Jesus. Yes. Father, we come this evening laying aside every weight, every sin that so easily beseated us. Yes, Father, we come casting every care, every burden at your mm. feet. Father, we come relying solely on you, God. Yes. Father, it is in you we live, move, and have our being. Yes. Father, you are the very air that we breathe, Father. Yes. You are our heartbeat, God. Yes. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, we give you the permission to operate in us, to operate on us, to operate through us, yes, to think Father. through our minds, Father. We ask that you would take every thought captive and make it obey Christ in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Father, we thank you for opportunity, Lord, to preach the on, to teach the only gospel that Jesus told us to teach, and that is the kingdom of God, Father. Yes. We ask, Father, that you will give people enlightenment, Father. Give us understanding and knowledge of the kingdom, Lord. Yes. Show us what our kingdom citizenship is really like, Father. Lord, it's a little difficult because we live in a world of democracy and mm. Republican, Lord. But the kingdom, Lord, he is the God. God is the king, yes. and we are his children. Yes. We're in this world, but we're not of this world. We're under heaven's jurisdiction. Yes. Father, we lack nothing, Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Father, you said that those who dwell in the secret place of the Most High yes. shall aid under the shadow, the protection, the provision of the, the Almighty, Almighty God. Yes. Father, yes. you said that a thousand will fall at one side and ten thousand at our right hand, yes. but it shall not come near our dwelling. Yes. So, Father, we thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to suck with you, Father. Yes to just live in your presence father you created us to live in your presence yes. father apart from you God we yes. die father in the yes. name of Jesus mm -hmm. we can do nothing without yes. you God yes. hallelujah Jesus hallelujah. we thank you Lord for right standing with you God glory be to your name God yes. Yes. father we thank you Lord that we, we know that you hear us God you have already granted our request God according yes. to your word according to your will according yes. to your plans yes. father we thank you right now now for yes, relationship father. father lord we don't come on our own god we mm. bring all humanity with us yes globally father. nationally and universal mm. in every remote part of the country every ethnos yes. every mm. nationality god yes, we lift father. them before you now god in the name of jesus yes. father you strategically placed us in this earth you know where we are god yes. you finished us long before we begin god yes. you know our thoughts from afar you know what we're going to say completely before before we even say it. Father, yes. you even know the number of heads on our head, God. Yes. Father, you knew those that wasn't going to make it to see this day, God. Mm. And you know those who made it to see this day, God. Yes. Father, those that don't know you, let them get to know you on this day, yes. for this yes. is God. the day of salvation. Yes. And yes. those who do Jesus. know you, Father, help us to make you known, Father. Yes. Help us to make your salvation attractive, yes. Father. Yes. You said if you be lifted up from the earth, yes. you would draw all, all men yes. unto you, yes, Father. God. So, Thank Lord, you, I lift Jesus. your people before you now, yes. God. Yes. I bind Amen. up every sickness, every disease, every bacteria, every infection yes. right Amen. now, Amen. God. Jesus. I loose your healing over your people. I loose your prosperity, God. Yes. Prosperity, we can't have it without you, yes. God. Yes. Prosperity begin with you and it ends with you, Father, yes, in the name God. of Jesus. Name Jesus. Father, we love you all today, yes. God. Yes, we give you the permission, Lord. Yes. We welcome you in this teaching, God. Yes, I lift the teacher of the hour before you now, God. Yes, I plead the blood of Jesus yes. over Aaron Cook yes. right yes. now, God. Father, I ask Jesus. that you will speak to his mind, yes. that you will speak through his lips, yes. that your word will come forth unhindered, yes. unchecked yes. by any outside force. Yes. And we'll be yes. careful in giving you all yes. the honor, yes, all Father. the glory, yes. and all the praise, because yes. it all belongs to you, God. Yes. And it's in the mighty name of yes. Jesus we in pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we ask that you right now send your anointing. Thank you, Jesus. That makes teaching easy. That makes preaching easy. That makes understanding the gospel of the kingdom easy. Father, we call on you right now. Yes, Father. Because, Father, we don't know much. Yes. Don't have much. Yes, Lord. Without you, we can't do anything. We don't can't do much. But I ask, Father, that you take the little that we have, yes. multiply it, yes. send it through the air, yes. that our yes. not enough through you, El Shaddai, yes, will become more than Hallelujah. enough yes. to loose those that Jesus. are bound and to set those that are captives free. Yes. We thank you for blessing us another week yes. and keeping yes. us, Father. For we have come another week to receive. Yes. We yes. came to believe. Yes. And Father, where we have need, we came to be changed. Yes. And the devil cannot stop us. Yes. By your help, Father, we shall receive. Yes. We shall believe. Yes. And we shall be changed. Yes. In Jesus' In name. In Jesus' name. Let everybody say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. And amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. Thank amen. you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Glory Lord. Glory be to God mm. forevermore. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank yes, you, Lord. Mm. 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 Powerful prayer. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Amen. Glory amen. be to God. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm. Amen. Mm. So now, we're getting ready to move into our new content. Yes, sir. Amen. But before we do... <laughs> We're going to take some time to review the content that we covered last week mm -hmm. on the subtopic called the seven ways to manage a crisis. Mm -hmm. Seven ways seven to manage ways. a crisis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So last week, we began by reiterating the importance of not hoarding your money or your possessions. That's Amen. important. Mm -hmm. And we reminded you of the truth of the matter. And that is, because you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are now a child of the Most High King mm -hmm. and a citizen of his kingdom. Amen. Well, yes. why is that important? Mm -hmm. We're going to tell you why. Mm -hmm. The King of Heaven, who is your Father, wants you to trust, mm -hmm. lean, and totally rely on him for all things. Because guess what? He cares for you. Come on now. Okay. Come on. Yes. Say it. So again, you don't have to be anxious about saving enough Come to on, provide man. for Come your needs. Come mm -hmm. on. And we said that this word anxious means you're full of mental distress mm -hmm. or uneasiness mm -hmm. because of fear of danger or misfortune. Wow. We said that it also means to be greatly worried or apprehensive. Mm -hmm. And we said to be anxious also means to be earnestly desirous or eager. Wow. wow. So last week we said that you don't have to be anxious or worry about becoming a good manager of mm -hmm. the resources that God has given you to take mm -hmm. care of. Wow. Amen. You don't have to worry about it. Amen. The king of the kingdom, your heavenly father, is willing to help you through this process mm. if you allow him to. That's right. That's okay? good news. That's, That's, right. Good, That's news. good news. But you got to <laughs> allow him to do Amen. it, okay? Amen. He's, 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 he's not... God has that made us free moral agents, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And he's not going to force himself That's on right. us. Nope. That's right. That's right. Okay, That's right. you That's have right. to make a choice. You mm -hmm. got to choose and say, okay, Lord, mm -hmm. I need you to help me through this. That's I can't right. do it by myself. That's right. Absolutely. I know without you that I am nothing and I mm -hmm. can't do nothing That's and right. I can't even manage the resources that you've given me correctly right. without you. So, That's Lord, right. help me to be a meta manager of what Amen. you have given me Amen. possession of. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, as the Bible says, in Philippians mm. chapter 4 verse mm. 6 do not be anxious about anything mm -hmm. anything That's nothing right. don't That's be right. anxious about it mm -hmm. but in every situation by prayer mm -hmm. and petition That's with right. thanksgiving present your request to God Amen. and then this is the good part mm -hmm. and the peace of God <laughs> Which Amen. transcends all understanding mm -hmm. will guard your heart mm -hmm. and your mind in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 That's the key part. Because mm -hmm. without 
we go through so much that we don't have to because we don't right. pray about don't it. Pray That's about right. It. That's Absolutely. Right. We go Absolutely. through so so many mm-hmm. people deal with so many things because mm-hmm. they don't pray about mm-hmm. it. Absolutely. And when you pray about it, mm-hmm. you give him the permission to intervene, That's right. mm-hmm. That's to right. impact, mm-hmm. and to influence mm-hmm. whatever situation and circumstance that you might be going right. through. And right? That's why he tells us, seek my face. Early in the morning. Early yes. In the morning. Amen. Amen. Early. Amen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So remember always that prayer and petition is giving God permission mm-hmm. to do his will in the earth. Amen. So when you petition him in accordance with his will, with his not will. yours, That's right. with his will, he hears you mm-hmm. and will grant what you're asking for Amen. in prayer. Amen. Mm-hmm. So as it says in the book of Jeremiah, the first chapter, God says that he watches over his word mm-hmm. to perform it. Mm-hmm. Wow. He hastens it to be fulfilled. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. So now we also said this word peace means several things. Mm-hmm. We said that it means quiet confidence. Mm-hmm. It also means completeness, wholeness, mm-hmm. soundness of mind, body, and spirit. Come wow. on, come on. Nothing missing. Come on. Nothing lacking. Yes, sir. Or nothing broken in any area or aspect of your life. Wow. So mm-hmm. that means in all of your life you are whole. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. So last week we talked about how many people have a false view of being prosperous. Mm-hmm. So we said for starters. People think it means access, Mm -hmm. and they ignore the Bible verses that warns about the dangers of prosperity, right? right? Mm -hmm. So we said that many people don't believe that those verses could not possibly apply to them because even the truly rich want more and do not feel as prosperous as they think they should. Mm. So we talked about how the Bible reports that the people who are burdened with excess wealth have to spend all of their time and energy protecting it. Yeah, that's true. Right? Wow. And for what purpose? Mm-hmm. So we said as long as it is being hoarded, mm-hmm. it is not doing anybody any good. Absolutely. As long as all of that money is sitting in your bank account, right. it's not being a benefit to anybody. Right. Too much money can give you headaches and make you more depressed. Mm. Wow. You put bars on your windows and dead bolts on your doors or security <laughs> systems in your home, worrying all night that mm-hmm. somebody going to come and steal mm-hmm. your wealth. That's Who the truth. live like that? Nobody. Right. Nobody should anyway. Mm-hmm. That's like kind of living in a prison. It is. Right? It is. It is. It is. Right? It is. So we talked again about the story of the wealthy farmer in the book of Luke chapter 12 and the warnings in the fifth chapter of the book of James. Mm-hmm. So in verses 20 and 21 of Luke chapter 12, Jesus says this regarding the wealthy farmer. He says, you fool. Mm -hmm. Because the farmer, he was like, what am I going to do with all this stuff? I'm going to build me a great big old barn Mm -hmm. and put all of my stuff inside of there, right? My stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. For me. Right. Myself Mm -hmm. and I. Right. He (laughs) said, then I'm going to live and be merry and Mm -hmm. all of this kind of stuff. Right. Not thinking about anybody else but himself. Right. So Jesus said, you fool. Mm. Jesus, the Lord said this. Mm. He right. called him a fool, right? Yeah. right? That's right. He said, this very night, your life will be demanded from you. Wow. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? Wow. My, 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 my. Mm. So Jesus goes on to say, this is how mm. it will be with whoever stores up things for themselves, but is not rich towards oh, God. God. Wow. Mm. Mm. And then in the book of James chapter 5, verses 1 through 5, it says this. Now listen, you rich people. Weep and wail because of the misery that is coming on you. Mm. Your wealth has rotted and moths have eaten your clothes. Your gold and your silver are corroded. Mm. Their corrosion will testify against you and eat your flesh like fire. Wow. 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 Isn't that something? Mm. You have hoarded wealth in the last days. Look, the wages you fail to pay the workers who mold your fields are crying out against you. Mm. The cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. Mm. He said, you have lived on earth in luxury and self-indulgence. You have fattened yourselves in the day of slaughter. Mm. Wow. 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 Right. Right? So now after telling the story of the wealthy farmer in Luke chapter 12, who died before he could even enjoy his riches. Mm -hmm. And after talking about how the Lord provided for the birds of the air and the lilies of the field, we talked about how Jesus says the same thing we read before in Matthew chapter Mm 6. In Luke chapter 12, verses 29 through 34, Jesus says, 
Do not set your heart on what you will eat or drink. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. For the pagan world runs after all such things. And your father knows that you need them. Yeah, he knows he them. already knows mm -hmm. that you need them. Yeah. So he said, but seek his kingdom and mm -hmm. all these things will be given to you as well. He then goes on to say, do not be afraid, little flock, mm -hmm. for your father has been pleased to give you the kingdom. Amen. Amen. Sell your possessions and give to the poor. Provide purses for yourselves that will not wear out. A treasure in heaven that will not be exhausted where no thief comes near and no moths destroy. Mm. Mm. For where your treasure is, there your, your heart, heart will be will also. Be. Amen. Yes. Amen. Mm. So in the end, we said, it's all about the kingdom. Yes. Yes. It's all about, it's about the, kingdom. the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Whether you live in poverty or in wealth, whether you suffer the effects of war or enjoy a time of unbroken peace, mm -hmm. God wants you to be content in your spirit. Amen. Amen. That's Amen. the bottom line. He Amen. wants you to take practical measures to overcome every crisis <laughs> and sometimes to hit them off before they even have a chance to hit you. Wow. My Lord. But most of all, most of all, he wants you to live as trustful, relaxed citizens of the kingdom of heaven. He wants to manifest his kingdom government over your earthly situations and circumstances. That's powerful. Right? Wow. He wants you to rest and relax. <laughs> mm rest and relax mm -hmm. wow. that's it and even when you are working 16 hours a day mm -hmm. and sweating buckets mm. you can have a peaceful spirit or quiet confidence that's the best way to live amen mm. amen. Mm. amen listen now if you living like that your blood pressure won't be high yeah. right. your hair yeah. won't be falling out because you're it. going that's through right. anxiety that's and right. all this other type of stuff that's mm -hmm. right. having panic attacks and mm -hmm. all that and stress attacks yeah. Yeah. stress is the number one killer yes, you know? yes it is and it's making a lot of people sick stress worrying yeah. about stuff right and what did jesus says Fear not. Fear not. Don't Take worry. no thought for your life. Right. Be not afraid. Right. All of that. Don't be distracted. Mm -hmm. Don't be anxious about anything. Yeah. That's you right. Yeah. That's right. And what do we do? Worry, worry, worry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> about everything. And that high blood pressure, high right. cholesterol, That's diabetes, right. and all everything. other sickness, yeah. heart attacks. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> And that's not his will no, or his desire for That's why he tells us, cast all, he didn't say something. He said, cast all oh. your cares upon me yes. because I care, I care for, for you. you. Then he turns around and tells you, he says, listen, Aaron and Diane and, and Anisha and you, the battle is not yours. It belongs to me. That's right. So what We're trying to now. fight. What you fight for? Right. Come exactly. on now. All you got to do is sit back and say, okay, Lord, handle mm -hmm. it. That's right. You and, got it. And you know what I learned? <laughs> I learned when you give it to the Lord mm -hmm. or when you give it to the angels, leave it alone. Yeah. Once you give it to him, don't you go behind him and try to do it. Right, right. Because it's going to cancel out what you just prayed about. Ooh. That's right. And I learned that through experience myself. I'm mm -hmm. telling you what I know. Yeah. Not just telling you out of my I'm telling you through experience of myself. Yeah. So now I know when I pray and I give it to the Lord, that's it. My great grandmother used to have a thing in her kitchen. She said, if you pray, she says, why worry when you can pray? Mm -hmm. And if you pray, don't worry. Don't that's worry. right. That, and I was like seven years old and I was reading that in that on our kitchen wall. I didn't understand it then, right. but I understand it now. That's right. right. That's right. Because when you do that, that shows your lack of faith. Of faith, right. Yeah. Exactly. That means I don't really believe that you're going to do what you said you're exactly. going to do. Well, so well, let me sister would make the pray and worry too. Right. None. <laughs> and, and, that, and that makes God's word true because he said, Without faith, it's, it's impossible, impossible to please God. That's come right. On, come on, come That's on. That's right. That's right. That's right. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. So then we read what the Apostle Paul says related to this mm -hmm. in his letter to the Philippian church in chapter 4, verses 10 through 13. He says this. He says, I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. Mm -hmm. I know what it is to be in need, mm -hmm. and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, mm. whether well-fed or hungry, mm -hmm. whether living in plenty or in want. Mm -hmm. I can do all things mm. through Christ who gives me strength. That's my, right. My, That's my, right. My, Come my. on now. Yes, sir. 
So last week we said that today we live in such a consumer driven society and culture and it is in a crisis all the time. Mm -hmm. We're in crisis all the time. The society around us is obsessed with things. Yes. And that's part of the problem yes. that we are going through currently in the yes. United States of America, but we're not going to dwell yes. on that. <laughs> so we also talked mm -hmm. about how people are perpetually tired and mm -hmm. worn out, distracted and depressed, irritable and in a hurry. Yeah. You can see that. I, I see that driving on the road I every know. morning. People. Yeah. Pew, Mm -hmm. I'm like, where are you going? Right. Where are you right. going? Right. Sometimes to the next light. To the red Say light. Hi. Right. <laughs> and sometimes I'm driving slow and people shoot by me and then I see a way up ahead that the light turning red and I just drive even slower and pull right up and back of them. You know, so I hope they see me. <laughs> then driving yeah. fast don't mean that, anything. That's right. Don't get you know? nowhere. So people all over, they suffer from stress-induced illnesses. Yes. And they treat each other poorly. My, yeah. my, 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 we my. talked about that last week. All right. you got to do is listen to how people talk to each yeah. other. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not flesh and blood that we fight against. You got That's that right. right. Come That's on, right. man. You Don't take that out right. on nobody, man. <laughs> okay? Amen. So we said the kingdom of God is not like that in the least. Come on, mm. come on. We said that the resources we need are supposed to come to us in the natural course of living our lives according to God's design and intention. Mm -hmm. wow. They come to us. We're not supposed to run and chase after them. Right. They come to us as we live our lives. Amen. So do not seek the kingdom of God because of its benefits. Mm -hmm. But its benefit comes to us as we seek the kingdom. Come on, say it. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It does. Okay. The provisions and resources that we need are not meant to become the object of our faith. Like Come Jesus on. was talking to mm -hmm. the people. He went, they after he provided them with the fish and bread, mm -hmm. they were looking for him the next day. Mm -hmm. Jesus had already gone on to the other <laughs> side, right? And right. they were looking for him the next day. Mm -hmm. And he was like, y'all don't want nothing but the fish and bread. That's all. That's all you're looking for. You're right. looking for the miracle. You want to get your gut filled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, he said, but you're supposed to be looking for the bread of heaven. That's Come right. On, believing in me. Mm -hmm. You're looking to fill your belly. You're supposed to be believing in mm -hmm. me. That's what you need to be looking for. That's right. Right. So the provisions and resources mm. that we need are not meant to become the object of our faith. Wow. They are meant to be the byproducts of our faith. Come on, okay? That's right. Come on. So last week we said that kingdom dwellers have faith. Mm. Their faith grows as they exercise it daily. That's right. So we said that true kingdom people do not treat their faith as a tool or a trick. Mm. Mm. When they exercise their faith, it is not like playing a slot machine <laughs> where if they somehow end up with the right combination of words or mm -hmm. numbers or actions, they win. Wow. Mm. Rather, we said the kingdom is a relationship, That's right. although it is with an invisible king. Mm -hmm. It's a relationship. Right. Yeah. Amen. And this king of our kingdom has communicated liberally with his people, especially throughout his written word. Yes. He has displayed his laws and his principles and has made them accessible to all who have eyes to see mm -hmm. and ears to come hear. On, come Amen. on, God's Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus, came to preach the kingdom of God. Mm. He came to what preach, did he come to preach? The kingdom of God. He mm. said, This is why I was sent. That's, right. That's, right. Mm. That's right. It's purpose. That's right. That's mm. right. It's purpose. He didn't come to preach religion? Nope. No. Oh. He okay. said, I have come to preach. The gospel of the kingdom. Amen. He said, repent for well, the kingdom is here. That's right. right now. It's at hand. At right hand. Now. You can have access to it right now. And right now. means it's here. That's Amen. right. Amen. Just like you said, this is at hand. At hand is here. Right That's here. right. You know. That's right. Mm. So he did not confuse his listeners when he said, seek first the kingdom of God mm. and his righteousness. And all these things shall be that's, added that's to you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so last Amen. week we asked this question. As a member of God's family and as citizens of his kingdom, what was truly worth seeking? Mm -hmm. What's truly worth seeking? Mm. And the answer is only two things. Two things. Listen, we're going to tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. The kingdom itself mm -hmm. and the righteousness that comes from God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those Amen. are the two things Amen. you should be Amen. seeking for. Amen. So remember, as we read in Luke chapter 12, Jesus says the Father is pleased mm -hmm. to give you the kingdom. Mm. Okay? Mm. So this means that if you do not receive the kingdom that God has given you, 
He is not pleased. Wow. Wow. He's not pleased. Mm. Therefore, a kingdom person does not live for a job. Mm -hmm. A kingdom person does not live for a spouse. Mm -hmm. Come on. A kingdom person does not live to gather blessings. Mm. Come on. Rather, a kingdom person lives to display the love of God to mm. the society around him or her. Amen. Amen. Now, although a kingdom person may revert to old habits of self-protection, mm -hmm. He or she soon remembers that God wants to supply mm. every, every need, need. and not that not only that he wants to, mm. he can. He can, he can, to, he can do it. The king is our father, which means Abba, mm -hmm. A B B A, mm -hmm. or source and supplier. And the king is also our savior and lord, which means mm. owner. Yes. He owns your life. Yes. Okay. Amen. The king is responsible for the well-being of the citizens of his kingdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The king is responsible for the well-being of the citizens in his kingdom. Amen. Okay? Amen. Get that in your mind. And like Amen. you said earlier, it's hard for us to understand that mm -hmm. because we live in a democracy yes. right, where we have presidents or people in power yes. that don't care about the people mm -hmm. that they're yes. supposed to represent. Right. But right. the king of mm -hmm. the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. is a benevolent king. That's right. And he cares about the well-being of all the citizens in his kingdom. Right. Amen. And That's he right. can't be voted in or mm -hmm. voted out. No. You got That's that right. right. He can't be. Amen. Mm -hmm. He is omnipotent, which means all powerful. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. He is omniscient, which means all knowing. Uh -huh. He is omnipresent, which means he is everywhere at the same time. Wow, that's powerful. That is powerful, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. There is nothing too hard or impossible to him. Mm -hmm. And with him and through him, all things are possible to them that love him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Yes. So therefore, we talked about how we can also claim for ourselves what the Apostle Paul said when he wrote to the Roman Christians in their ongoing crisis situations. Mm -hmm. So in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verses 30, 35 through 39, Paul mm. says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Mm. My Lord. Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine <coughs> or mm. nakedness or danger or sword? Mm. As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. Mm -hmm. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. Wow. Come on. Come on. Then he mm. says, No. In all these things, we are more than conquerors more than. through mm. him who loved us. Mm. Then he says, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, mm. nor angels, nor demons, Come on. neither present nor the future, mm. nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything mm. else in all creation yeah. will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. So we also looked at this same passage and how it reads in the Living Bible Translation. It says, who then can ever keep Christ's love from us? Mm. We have trouble, when we have trouble or calamity, when we are hunted down or destroyed, is it because he doesn't love us anymore? No. Mm. And if we are hungry or penniless or in danger or threatened with death, has God deserted us? No. Nope. Nope. No. For the scriptures tell us that for his sake, we must be ready to face death at every moment of the day. Mm. We are like sheep awaiting slaughter. Mm. But despite all this, Overwhelming victory is ours yes. through Christ who loved us enough to die for us. Amen. 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 For I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from his love. Death can't and life can't. Mm. The angels won't and all the powers of hell itself cannot keep God's love away. Mm. Isn't that something? Yes. Our fears for today, our worries about tomorrow... Or whether we are high above the sky mm -hmm. or in the deepest ocean, nothing will ever be able to separate us from the love of God demonstrated by our Lord Jesus Christ when he died for us. Mm. Amen. Amen. That's something, isn't it? Yes, yes. it is. <clears throat> when we then emphasize the vital need to know, understand, and comprehend how these verses are important words for the citizens yes. of God's kingdom. Yes. Mm. There is no crisis too big for God. Come on, mm -hmm. come on, come on. There is never a crisis in heaven. Nope. 
And there is nothing that can ever separate his love for us, which again has been demonstrated by our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And we ended by reminding you that our King, the Most High God, mm. Elohim, Jehovah Adonai, will make sure that his people can conquer and overcome anything mm. because his love is never overshadowed by any crisis. Woo. Amen. 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 That was, Amen. Good. That was Ooh, that good. good. That was good. Mm -hmm. Boy, mm -hmm. you, was, you was teaching. Mm -hmm. You was teaching. Mm -hmm. you was God teaching. be the glory. You was teaching so good, I'm ready to go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it can't. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Now let's move right into our new content for this week. And today we will move into the next subtopic called Overcoming Seasons of Crisis. Overcoming yes. Seasons of Crisis. Mm. <clears throat> so, Dr. Miles begins this subto subtopic with a quote from a person by the name of J.Y. Herla Nehru. That's a name. <laughs> That's a name. Let me say it again. J.Y. Herla Nehru. He says crises and deadlocks, when they occur, have at least this advantage. They force us to think. Mm. They force us now. to think. Dr. Miles then goes on to say everything is seasonal. Mm -hmm. So listen, no matter where you and I live in the world, the seasons always come and they go. That's right. true. They're going to come and go. Mm -hmm. God said they would. Yep. Mm -hmm. Summer, autumn, winter, and spring, they're going to come and go. In different regions of the world, these seasons may look quite different, but each season always <coughs> has some positive aspects and some negative aspects. Yes. Amen. It's depending on where you are in the world. See, the view, your view may be different. The view from your window may be green because the trees are in full bloom. Mm -hmm. Or the view may be brown because you are in a season when they have died. Uh -huh. Or the view may be white. Because the land is full of snow yeah. from it mm -hmm. being winter. And yeah. they were the news lady was talking about some snow that we might get today oh, and, and going into tomorrow, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Her name was Ava, too, like your, your, your <laughs> um, niece. <laughs> <laughs> so the temperature may be hot or cold. The weather may be cloudy and rainy or clear and dry. Mm -hmm. See, these are all seasonal differences. Mm -hmm. And we, you have to remember that people are always looking forward with expectations to the next season or the next one after that. Yeah. And they are glad when they get here. Mm -hmm. Now, most importantly, farmers, fishermen, and other people who work outdoors probably have the best appreciation for the reality of seasonal change. Mm -hmm. But all of us are completely familiar with seasonal patterns. Mm -hmm. Human life seems to be seasonal as well. Come Your on. life and my life. Looking at the broad scope, we observe that birth and infancy are like the seed time and new growth of spring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We also talk about youth and young adults as being like a long, fruitful summer season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, middle-aged people like myself is compared. <laughs> oh man, I missed it. I was supposed to be the young person, right? Okay, but that middle means. age. <laughs> but middle age is compared to autumn, when everything is ripe for harvest and summer's growth begins to slow down. Mm -hmm. And old age is very much like winter. Mm -hmm. However, even in winter, listen, there is beauty and hard-won wisdom. In the very real hope of new life. Yes. Amen. So in the ups and downs of our individual lives, we see that each of our years has seasons too. Come on. There are seasons of busy activity which mm -hmm. give way to seasons of rest. Mm -hmm. There are seasons of serenity or contentment which alternate with seasons of trouble. Come on. Yeah. There are seasons of calm which can be shattered by seasons of crisis that Come we're dealing on, with man. now. Come yeah. On. Sometimes we move from one season to another fairly quickly, mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. Let me do it again. Almost didn't see. That was so fast. Kind of like, <laughs> that's like I almost do. I can. I'm so fast that I can turn the light off before it gets dark and be in the bed. <laughs> 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 
All right, let's get back. Sometimes we move from one season to another fairly quickly, but other times it seems to happen with agonizing slowness. Yeah. Now, within each life, there is an ebb and a flow that is as certain as the tide when the person's life has very little trouble in it or whether the person seems to be to barely survive one calamity after another. Yeah. Like some people used yeah. to say, boy, when it rains, it pours. Yeah. 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 That means you're going after one problem or one calamity after another. Yep. Our lives move in and out. And just as nobody on the face of the earth is immune from a crisis, and we talked about that earlier, so also nobody suffers in high crisis mode forever. Come That's on. true. See, and you Come need on. to know this. That's Amen. Good. That's good news. See, are you hearing God? Amen. Yeah. Uh -huh. Some people do not like change. But even those people realize that seasonal change has many benefits. Yes. They understand that the earth needs to rest mm -hmm. between growing seasons. That's right. Even the earth needs to rest. Yes. yes. It needs to gather nutrients mm -hmm. and become ready for the upcoming growing seasons. Mm -hmm. They un also understand that times of plenty, while they may be followed by times of lack, mm -hmm. will be followed again in due time by more seasons of plenty. Come yes. on. Amen. Come and you on need now. to know that also. That's life. Amen. It is. That is life. They appreciate the different kinds of beauty that accompany each of the seasons. See, God is the one who established the seasons of the year. He is the one who created climate differences. Mm -hmm. He made the tropics and he made the Antarctica. He made the oceans and he made the mountains. Yeah. Jehovah God is the founding father of seasonal change. Are you hearing God? Mm -hmm. So the book of Ecclesiastes provides a very familiar statement which is related to what we are talking about. So Bishop is going to go to Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and read verses 1 through 8. And you also go there to Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 through 8. Amen. Amen. And the word of God reads a time for everything mm -hmm. there was a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to uproot a time to kill and a time to heal a time to tear down and a time to build up a time to weep and a time to laugh, mm. a time to mourn, mm. and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones, and a time to gather them, mm. a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search, and a time to give up, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to, a time to, t to tear, and a time to mend, a time to be silent, and a time to speak, a time to love, mm -hmm. and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. Amen. Mm. Amen. Wow. And that's wow. the word of God. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A time for everything. Mm. And thank you, Bishop, for your reading. Now, as you personally, personally read this passage, you can also replace the word time with the word season. Mm -hmm. So let's look at it again. It says, <clears throat> there's a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it says a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, mm -hmm. a time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. Mm -hmm. A time to embrace and a time to refrain. Mm -hmm. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. That's mm. important. Yes, it is. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. Now, did you notice how many of those times are times of crisis? Come on. Here are some. Dying, uprooting, killing, tearing down, mm -hmm. scattering stones, yeah. Yeah. weeping, mourning, searching, throwing away, tearing, hating, and warring. Yet, every time of crisis is balanced out by a time of joy. Come on. That's right. Here are the times of joy. 
birthing and planning and healing and building and laughing and dancing and gathering, embracing, yeah. finding and keeping, mending, reconciliation, and love, joy, and peace. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yes, everything is seasonal mm -hmm. because everything changes. That's right. Yeah. Before long, even if you are now in a difficult season, a new season will appear. Are you hearing That's God? True. Yeah. Let me let That's me let true. me repeat this. So let me say this again. Because someone needs to hear and receive what we are saying here. If you are now in a difficult season, mm -hmm. know that a new season will indeed appear. Amen. Amen. And amen, amen means and it is so. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, another way of putting it is this. Nothing is permanent. That's, That's cool. Nothing mm -hmm. is permanent. Mm -hmm. Although seasonal cycles can become predictable, they do keep changing. That's right. Nothing is permanent except God and his promises. Amen. The leaves may fall from the trees and the weather may change, but God never changes. Amen. Are you hearing me? That's right. God never changes. Yes. As the Bible tells us in the book of Hebrews chapter 13, he is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. So God, the unchanging one, is the one who set up ever-changing seasons of the earth and of our lives. And he knew exactly what he was doing. Come That's on, right. Come on, Nobody man. up. He's the come potter. That's and we right. the clay. That's, That's right. what the Bible teaches us. He's the potter and we the clay. That's and he right. makes no mistake. Right. That's, That's right. right. Not none. Mm. For one thing, he wanted his people to understand that they do not need to worry about their lives. Yes. Don't worry. Don't be anxious. Jesus. Fear not. Be not afraid. This is all things that Jesus said. Yeah. Whatever is happening is not permanent. Remember, God is in charge of all the changes. That's right. Therefore, yeah. it does not matter what is happening because it cannot last. Are Come you on, hearing man. God? Yeah. It cannot last. There will be an end to every crisis. Mm -hmm. It does not matter if what is happening seems good to you or if it seems bad because it will change eventually. That's right. And your God, who is your heavenly Father, he orchestrates the changing. Yeah. You mm. ever seen a person that orchestrates? They be like, uh-huh. And everybody's following them because they're in charge. They right. know what they're doing. Right. They? And they keep their eye on the orchestra. That's right. That's right. That's right. On that. And that's what we're yes, supposed sir. to be doing, keeping that's our yes. eye on him. That's Amen. right. Yes. See, seasons are his way to guarantee improvement. Mm. This means that seasonal change is one of the most consistent ways of bringing hope. And remember, the hope is the expectations of things desired. That's what hope is. Amen. 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 This means that you do not throw away your hope or throw your hope away even in the darkest seasons of your life. Mm. After all, no matter how cold you get in the winter, you always know summer is coming. Amen. Yeah, that's right. Like, and for myself, when it was cold, we didn't worry about it. If it gets cold, you just put on like some um, a sweater or you double um, layer your, your, yourself yeah. with clothes. You That's know, right. like two yeah. shirts or three shirts, yeah. put on socks, yeah. put on what they call long underwear and stuff. Yeah. And then my grandmother and them, like, if the old man was supposed to be there and didn't come and she would call him and he would say, well, I can't make it until like two days later. My grandmother and great grandmother would put pots of water on the stove yeah. mm -hmm. and boil it. Yeah. And the steam from the water would heat yeah. the room up. And then Absolutely. they would turn the oven on and crack the, the oven door open just a little bit to let the heat from the oven come out. What you talking about? They knew how to keep you warm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's right. They knew how to you do it. Cold, I'm you? telling you. Likewise, when winter comes, you do not throw away your swimming trunks or bathing suits right. because you know the summer will come again. That's right. You know you will need those swim trunks, but when you jump in the water to go swimming, you will not need that long, the long johns you may have been wearing in the middle of the winter. That's right. In the same way, when a wintry economic season comes upon you, do not throw away your bike account. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Don't throw it away, on, on, even right if it now. seems useless. Yes. Leave some money in it to keep it open. That's yes. right. Yes. Why? Why are you doing this? Because the season is coming when you will be able to add more money to it again. Amen. It's, it's going to come. Go. That's See, right. everything is seasonal. 
times of plenty and times of poverty. Mm -hmm. Winter never stays and summer never stays either. That's right. Both employment and unemployment are seasonal as well. Yes, right. See, if you are unemployed, then a time of employment lies ahead. Mm -hmm. And that's good news. That's, that's, good that's the news. good news. That's right. the truth. See, if this is a season for you to have your job or for you to leave your job, then you can be sure that a better job is up ahead. Amen. A Amen. better job. Amen. A better job. Mm -hmm. See, you have got to close out one chapter in order to open up the new one. Mm -hmm. You got to close one over here so that the new one can be opened. That's See, right. See, most of the time, you have to get ready for a chapter that is bigger and better than the one before. Are you hear right. God? Yes. So always remember to everything there is a season. Times of crisis are temporary. And this is good news. Let me say that again. Always remember to everything there is a season. Times of crisis are temporary. Yes. And this is good news. Amen? Amen. Amen. And you know what? My time is up, but I do thank you for yours. Oh, well, we're going to end on this note, and we will continue in our new series called Overcoming Crisis as a Citizen of God's Kingdom. So remember to join us again on next Sunday at 3 p.m., 3.00, as we continue <laughs> to rediscover life as a citizen of God's kingdom living in the earth. It is well, for those who choose. Amen. 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 That was good. That was good. That was Amen. good. Amen. Now, for those of you watching who desire to be cleansed by the blood of Jesus, forgiven for your sin, and be reconciled to God's family and restored unto your kingdom citizenship authority in earth, this new life has been made available to you through the Lord Jesus the Christ. Now, if you choose this life today, please join me now in this prayer. Repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus the Christ. You said in your word that he who comes to me, I will in no wise cast out. Therefore, I know you won't cast me out, but instead you will take me in. So I thank you, Heavenly Father, for taking me in. Amen. You also said in your word, whosoever should call upon the name of the Lord mm -hmm. shall be saved. Heavenly Father, as I call upon your name, thank you for saving me. Amen. 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 You said, if I will confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe and shall believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead, I will be saved. For with the heart man believe unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Therefore, Heavenly Father, I confess this day with my mouth that Jesus Christ is my Lord. I believe in my heart that Jesus has raised from the dead mm -hmm. for my justification. And now because of this, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, Heavenly Father, you also said, how much more shall you give the Holy Spirit to them that ask? Therefore, I am asking you to please fill me with your Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you also for baptizing me in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Now fill me to the point of overflow. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Now, if you have just prayed this prayer with me, you are now cleansed by the blood of Jesus from sin and unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. You are now reconciled unto your heavenly father as his son. You are now filled with the Holy Spirit of Christ. And you are now restored unto your kingdom citizenship authority with power and authority to reign and rule in life. Welcome back Amen. to the family of God. Amen. I challenge you to begin dominated in life by the power of the Holy Spirit living in you and the authority given to you to dominate in life by Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Now, if you prayed this prayer with us today, please, please feel free to let us know in the comment section or send us a message, especially if you want somebody to follow up with you. Amen. 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 
So now it's that very important time. Mm -hmm. Let's move into our open forum discussion. Mm -hmm. Are there any questions from our viewers or our audience today? Mm -hmm. Now's the time. If you have any questions, please place them in the chat or the comment section. <clears throat> any questions? No questions today? This was good, mm -hmm. good, yeah. good. Yeah, was this was good. very Amen. good. Amen. 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 So you, uh, we can let you know that mm -hmm. anything that you're in right now, anything that you're facing right now, mm -hmm. it has to come. It's only a season. That's, That's right. right. And it's only for time. That's yes. Because right. seasons come and seasons go. That's mm -hmm. right. Amen. Amen. Like you said earlier, nothing is permanent. Nope. Nothing. Nothing is permanent. But we have to remember that no matter what seasons come and what seasons go, once you give your life to Yeshua Jesus and God our Father, mm -hmm. they orchestrate our lives. That's Absolutely. right. Everything. Absolutely. Because That's the right. Bible says that the steps of a good man are ordered, ordered by, by the, the Lord. Lord. That's right. You know, so he's orchestrating every step that we mm -hmm. take. Absolutely. Every situation, Absolutely. every circumstance, whether it's good or bad, you know. Absolutely. That's right. And the bad is not going to last forever, neither is the good. That's right. You know. And you're not going through it alone. You know? right. He's always with you. He, absolutely. That's, right. That's good news. That's yeah. good news. Nice. And also, you have to remember that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. That's Amen. right. Amen. Amen. All things. Didn't say yeah. some. He said you can do all things through Christ mm -hmm. who strengthens us. Amen. Amen. So Amen. you're being strengthened. That's whatever right. you're going through, whatever you're confronted with, you're being strengthened. Amen. It's opportunity. Yes. Amen. Amen. And I can speak on that because I was in a wheelchair yeah. and crutches for over four months. And, and I right. kept having faith in the Lord, praying to him, said, Father, you said that you'll restore my health. You'll heal all, heal mm -hmm. all of my wounds, yes. said the Lord God of Israel. And he did it. Yes. Right. I couldn't even walk, take three steps, and you know, right. without being in pain or looking for my crutches to think I'm going to fall. You mm -hmm. know, wow. had people, my godson was coming to get me to take me to the doctors in the wheelchair, had to take me down the steps because I couldn't right. walk down the steps, mm -hmm. you know. And, and even when I got to the car, I was like so weak. It, it took him to hold me and me to grab on the bar of the door so that I could put one leg up there. And sometimes it took like minutes for me to get a leg up. Yeah. Mm. And I played basketball in high school and college. Yeah. It was known in the Baltimore, Washington, Virginia area and couldn't even walk. But the Lord, That's he right. said, if you trusted me, there you, go. you know, That's there right. You go. like the lady said, I meant a man from Galilee. Uh huh. And if you trust in him, he'll, he'll set, set you, you free. Come on now. <laughs> Come on. I'm a witness. That, I'm a right? witness. That's, on, right. that's right. Because I'm walking. Man. And every day I walk down the steps, I look at the steps where the steps was devastating for me to walk down. My wife can tell you. But I look at the steps now and I'm just walking down the steps with ease. But I thank God every day. And some people may think that's light, but I thank God Come every on, day Come for on, being man. able to walk down Come the steps on, and walk yes. up the steps. Yes. Yes. I remember Come coming on. back from the doctors and um, my, my, my um, godson would bring me in in a wheelchair and I would get out the wheelchair. Or sometimes I would sit in a wheelchair where he brought me in at the kitchen and the steps was right there. And so Annette, he was saying, you sure you don't want me to take you upstairs? I said, no. And I remember one time I sat on the steps for almost like, what was it? 20 minutes? 45. 45 minutes. Mm. Because you know how you sit on the steps and you can push yourself back up? Yeah. I didn't even have enough strength to push yeah. myself up the steps. Mm. You know, and then it, it, even from that, it took me a while to get up out of the wheelchair to get enough strength. And it kept saying, you ready? I was saying, I'll be ready in a minute. I think she said like three or four or five times, you know, you be ready. And I was in my mind trying to get my mind to operate with my body so that I could get strength and push myself up. But sometimes I would go to do it. My mind was saying one thing, you yeah, know, but my body. body was saying something else. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I couldn't do it. Right. And it took my wife to lift, literally lift me up after 45 minutes so I could stand mm. up. And then I still had to go up like 10, 12 steps. Yeah. Right. And each step was, a, I'm telling you, boy, I'm telling, but God is good. Because God will bring you out of anything. And you know what else he told me after everything was over? He said, I allowed you to go through that mm. to show you that I can bring you out of anything. Come on now. And I know it wasn't the devil telling me nothing like that. Come on and now. And nor was it my consciousness or my intuition. It was my Father in heaven. Mm. Amen. Amen. Because he said, I'll restore your health 
and I'll heal all of your wounds, yes. said the Lord God of Israel. So. He said, said no so. weapons formed against you. He never told us they wouldn't form. Come on. But he said, if they form against you, they, they will not prosper. prosper. You need right. to know this. You need to hear this. Yes. You know, so no matter what you're going through now, God will bring you up yes. if you Amen. trust in him. Yes, if will. you put your hands in God's yes, hand and let him be the guiding force and the guiding light in your life. Amen. Because in reality, Jesus is the only way out. Come on Absolutely. now. The only way. Absolutely. The only way. Amen. Amen. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Wow. Woo. Well, saints. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't nothing else to say after right. that. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Amen. Right. So if there are no other uh, questions or comments, we're going to go ahead and close out. So if you missed any of our prior sessions from our Sunday series, I strongly urge you to go back and watch all of them. We have a lot of them up there now. Yeah. This has been going on yeah. three years, right? Yeah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. They're all still saved on our Facebook page, and you can mm -hmm. access them from our website at www.ftwcinc.org. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and see all of our videos there. Amen. So remember to join us each Sunday at 3 o'clock p.m. for our continued studies. May you be transformed by the renewing of your mind, mind so that you will know the good, uh -huh. acceptable, yes. and perfect, perfect will, will of, of God. God. Amen. Amen. Now, the final thing we want to remind you of today, and that is Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord. Amen. God bless you all. See you next week. Amen. Be blessed.